Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Um, I just want to give my input on the whole Deontay Wilder, um, the zone deal possibly going belly up because rumor, rumor, and I will say this again, rumor has it, rumor has it, rumor has it. I said that three times, so I don't want no super duper Anthony Joshua fans coming on here saying, well, you, you know, I said rumor has it that Deontay Wilder is going to say no to the DAZN deal because basically there is a rumor that the deal does not include a guaranteed bout with Anthony Joshua. It's basically come to the zone, fight for us, we'll pay you, and basically be used. And that's all it come down to. Basically be exploited, fighting on that network, and basically no guarantee that you're going to get the Anthony Joshua fight. Deontay Wilder has made it very clear he wants to fight Anthony Joshua. Now, if he says no to this fight, then once again, it's proven that Anthony Joshua doesn't want this fight. Keep in mind, Eddie Hearn has nothing to do with this deal. This could be something John Skipper wants, but at the same time, John Skipper can't make Eddie Hearn make Anthony Joshua sign to fight Deontay Wilder. At the end of the day, this fight really only happens if Anthony Joshua wants this fight. Anthony Joshua appears that he doesn't want this fight anytime soon. And he might be sticking to his guns about, I won't fight him till 2020. So basically he's trying to age Deontay Wilder out. And I think that's a damn shame. Anthony Joshua appears just not to have no guts. Now we know the AJ fans are gonna make excuse after excuse on why this fight is not happening. Of course, they're gonna blame Deontay Wilder, but if he is not guaranteed a showdown with Anthony Joshua, why go fight on that network? Why let John Skipper and zone exploit you to get subscriptions knowing that we're not gonna get the fight we really want, which is Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. So if in case that's the point, I give Deontay Wilder kudos because he's not letting nobody play him or use him. And I appreciate that. See, a lot of people ain't thinking beyond the big picture. Now you're gonna get a couple of idiots that's gonna come on here and say what the fuck they wanna say and they gonna say something stupid and I'm not worried about that. But Deontay Wilder is showing you that he's being his own man. He gonna decide what's best for Deontay Wilder. And he not gonna let the powers that be exploit him or use him. This is what you call taking control of your own destiny, taking control of your, your, your future, taking control of your enterprise. So I respect him for that. But we'll see what happens, man, down the line, man. But the rumor was anyway that Anthony Joshua wasn't guaranteed that basically hey we just want you to be another zone fighter with a belt so basically they just want belt holders but they not necessarily trying to you know basically unify the belts so it is what it is man let me know what you guys think I'm out